Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines Fix Your City with me Biffa. Yes, it's been a while but we have another traffic fix for you and this is the city of Johannes sent in by Christian. Thank you very much for sending this in. You've mentioned that this is your first city. So, you know, well done for sending your first city. Sometimes people that have never played the game before get a bit worried. Uh, they don't want to send it in for us to have a look at but, you know, we will keep that in mind as we're giving you our advice and uh, helping you fix up your city. So let's just dive in and have a look. The traffic's got down to 5% uh, while I was recording that time lapse that you're going to see at the end. I mean, all these areas are choked up. This is choked up. This isn't too bad, but there's not much going on in here. But you've got lots of roundabouts connecting areas together. But the main highways choke this is coming into the city it's backing up here this one's coming into the city backing up here backing up here um i think there's one down here where it comes in this isn't too bad this has barely got any buildings in um it's all sort of uh smaller residential stuff so not so much traffic but we can see it's all sort of combining and hitting up here uh, a couple of good things i've noticed so you've got um, connections between your areas and you've got the main highway goes through the middle and roads are coming off um, at the moment if somebody wants to get from here to here they need to use the highway which um, shouldn't be too bad and again like from here to here or here to here they've got to go through the highway you've got no sort of other connecting roads apart from this sort of one here and let's just have a look oh, you've got a few underground tunnels that's your metro there yes yeah, so you've got metro here You've got a metro that goes round there and there. You've got a big metro over here. Okay, I'm just wondering actually how many people use your metro. Let us take a quick look. You've got lots of people dying off as well. It's shrinking. It was 80,000. In the time it's taken me to record my little intro and stuff, it's dropping a lot. So you've got buses there people are taking. No trolley buses yet. Metro lines. Lots of people want to use your metro lines. Okay. Well, we will take a look at those as well in a moment. Because it doesn't look to me like you've got your metro lines connected together. So you've got this one line that goes around there. And that's separate from this one, separate from this one. So you get the idea. We'll have a look at that. I'd like to start with this in the middle here. Um, because it's obviously causing issues. You also haven't got all the different roads connected up. And you've also got not all the different roads connected up here. You probably weren't sure what to do. This one isn't connected up here. So that could be a nice access through to say people going around a different way. Um, where does that one go underground? Let's have a look. So that comes from way over here. So you've tried to bypass everything with a tunnel to help them get onto the highway. So you know, that's a good idea. That's fair enough. Um, but what you could just do... Let's go back into this view. Let's just pause a second. If we just oh, I can turn down my volume there we go if we just pause a second and in this section here we are just oh what was that the traffic is now at 15 percent it's gone up slightly uh, we are going to pop in here um, a small roundabout let's just make a little bit of space come on stop snapping just oi easy now just like that there we go. We're going to connect that all up. Uh, let's delete our roads in the middle. We're then going to use Traffic Manager. Now, I'm asking anybody that's sending in their cities to make sure they've upgraded it to Traffic Manager 11.2, whichever version you're using now, uh, just so you don't lose all the Traffic Manager information on your cities when you send it to me. So... Uh, let's just go through and do this. Long-time watchers will know we don't want the enter into block junctions on for people coming into the roundabout, just for those going around the roundabout, so they'll keep them moving. And I did that one already. Yep, that's fine. So that's all connected out. We've now given these a way to get in and out, and I've made sure to put the train line back over the top. Uh, this is... Uh, here, despawning is currently disabled. That's why it's lit up blue. So that's why we've got such bad traffic. Um, yeah. So that's just given one extra little connection there. But I really wanted to look at this one because I've used this one before. And there certainly is a lot of lane mathematics that we can do here. So I'm going to run through doing it for a couple of the roads. And then I'll just spend my time off camera sorting out all the others. So the reason we do this, if you look at this lane here... 
See, that lane goes straight on. That one goes straight on. This one here, the game says, I've got to cover straight on, but I've also got to let people go off here because it's trying to make sense of these four lanes. You can help that by using lane mathematics. So three lanes here. If one goes off, it's down to two. Watch this little arrow. Bish. Now we've got a dedicated turning lane. There we go for going off. So this now needs to be down to two all the way along here. So let's do that. And it splits off again. So we could actually then drop this down to one. There we go. And then one and... Uh, this is going to change anyway, so we'll come back to that. Yes. So follow the lane mathematics. And then when you come off down here, we've got this one lane coming off and also this lane, one lane coming off, which means... Uh, this one here needs to be two. Uh, that was the wrong one. This one here. That one there needs to be two. And then if we've done the lane mathematics underneath here correctly from the other direction. So we've got three lanes. I'm going to ignore this one for now. Three lanes, one coming off. So this goes down to two. And then one goes off again, down to one. There we go. And then we've got two plus one back to three. So if I do that on all the different spots around here, that will make this work much, much better. Yeah, I've just noticed while doing this, of course, this lane and this lane here merge. So that needs to be two. And then two plus one is three. And then three plus one is four. So I'm actually going to add a length of four there. And then when they get around the corner, they can merge back into two again. I'm also just going to help them out a bit. And so they don't have to go. There we go. Excellent. Don't have to go <laughs> so slow around the corner. Right, let me finish off this. I'm also probably going to connect that up to over here as well. We'll put a proper junction in there. Just a little note to uh, keep in mind as well. When you've got roads branching off like this, you really don't need massive great big three lane roads. Uh, I'm going to downgrade this to one lane. And then it's going to split off to one lane that way and one lane this way. And again, it can split off again. I can see you've tried to do the lane mathematics. I may not end up keeping these roads. I don't know. We might not need them. Yeah, I can see you trying to do the lane mathematics. And you're trying to bypass huge areas of your city with these roads. But they're just not being used. People want to just take the most direct route, which is why we're getting issues like this. So... Whoop, there we go, back over here. Um, so this bit here, I just upgraded this to four lanes because we've got this extra lane going off. Remember I said we'd come back to it. So that gives it a dedicated turning lane, which people are diving out and are happy to use. And then uh, down here, I'm just going to continue the lane mathematics along. Two, and then plus one again, back to three. And then we're into these junctions. These can also have the lane mathematics. Three minus one down to two, and then back to three again. Three minus one down to two. And it just helps the game work much better. Now, what you want to do is every time you come to one of these little junctions where you have the lanes merging back on, like you've sort of done there, is just help these guys out by setting up Hugo there and Hugo there. And we're going to need that at the other side as well. Hugo there, Hugo there, and Hugo there, just so they merge better. We now don't need that one there, so I'm going to connect, uh, select that node and hit delete. That will remove that. And then, of course, we need to do the same on all the merging lanes over here. So let me just show you uh, over here would be, yeah, so we've got double the amount here. So this here, they're going to merge there and there. This one here, they're going to merge there and there and there. And then when they come out, remember we added, oh, we haven't added the four lanes here. Let me quickly do that. So I normally do a couple of stretches just to help them have a bit of room for the merging. Come on, select the thing. Do the thing, select the thing. You go there. Uh, you go there. You go there. And you go there. And as it gets busy, you'll see that that's helpful. And then halfway through where we've got these two four-lane road stretches, I do shift S. That just means they go straight through and then they merge over there. So I'm going to go around again this whole thing and make sure I've set up all of the lane management correctly. Also, while you're doing this, it's a good idea just to make sure you're not forcing anybody to go in a lane and stay in a lane and then not be able to go to where they want to go. So these guys all being forced, the green into the green into the pink, and then they're in this lane here. And they're basically being forced to go off unless there's another node in the middle, which there isn't. Um, so if that is going to happen, you could, for instance, just remove, say, that one there, and they get an option to change lanes here, and that might be a better way of doing it. Uh, we've got double the lanes going off here. Let's just do that. There we go. So we've got... 
Ah, oh, map this to four lanes. Ah, oh, okay, this one can turn back to three lanes again. That's where I've gone wrong. There we go. No, there we go. Yes. No. <laughs> Third time lucky. So one off, three on, and then we've got this roundabout here, which is fine. Let's just check that that's set up while we're here. It looks like it is. Uh, we don't need all of that lane management there. We're going to get rid of that. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, so I'm going to finish off setting this up. It's going to take me a while, but yeah, we'll be there in a sec. And this is a perfect example of why you need to do this. All of these cars are all crossing over the lanes and getting in each other's way. Look at that. They're all just diving around all over the place because there's so much traffic. Uh, but as soon as you do this, they stick to their lanes. Anybody that wants to go straight on can do. Uh, I think we've got a issue here where we've got one node. Let's just straighten that out a bit. And hopefully once these guys sort themselves out, I'll tell you what it is. It's this road here coming off a little bit too soon. Let us... Uh, what we could just do is do this. Move this along a bit like that. There we go. Spread this out a bit. And I'm going to add another node in there. And I've, I see the 32,000 comments that tell me how to do this. Uh, if you just have another road coming off of there and then delete it. That should now have added another node in there. There we go. So give them a couple of options to change lanes. And as the traffic dies down, that will help. What are we up to now? 24%. Things are getting better. Hopefully I've done all of this. I think I have. Uh, I know some of you will be looking at this and going, No, you've missed that road there and this lane now. I, I, if I find any more that I've missed, I will, I will get back to it. So... I'm just going to go around the roundabouts, and that one is probably one I've already done. That one looks like, oh, you've got all sorts of lane stuff going on here. Yeah, when you do a proper roundabout, you don't need this lane stuff. So I'm going to select these nodes and delete like that. Because when you use this option here and control shift and click, you'll get dedicated turning lanes for going off. You also want to make sure, like we said before, that the enter the block junction is off. For everybody coming on, which is fine for that one. Let's just double check. Yeah, this one hasn't got any giveaway signs at all, which really isn't going to help. Let's just delete that. That one's okay. Yeah, we don't want any there. Yeah, enter block junctions. You see what they're doing. These cars are coming out because this green one's on, and it's just stopping the roundabout working effectively. Same there. Same there. There we go. And then what we will find is that this here doesn't have to be there. That's what we'll find. Let's delete that. Let's move this down here. We've got this area here. Keep your junctions away from each other. 30%. It's going up. So we're going to connect to that node there. And that is going to go off like that. But yeah, don't have your junctions so close to each other. Don't have buildings right by the... Uh, look, don't want these right by the entrance and exits to roundabouts. Let's get rid of that. Let's have a look at this one down here. So what I might just do now... Yeah, see, this hasn't got any giveaway signs at all. Oh, it did. I was lying. Uh, what I might just do now is go round all the roundabouts. Yeah, got to turn that one off. And just check that they've all been set up correctly. I really like this you've got down here. You've got your uh, walking paths up and over the top. That one there should come over here. So that they can cross over from either way which is nice. Yeah, you haven't got all your giveaway signs here, so let's do that. Yeah, and again, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. See, things like this are really going to make a big difference. You said it was your first map, so, you know, fair enough. And you did have Traffic Manager in your list of mods, so some good, good tips for you on how to use Traffic Manager correctly. These are quite close together. I mean, I could just use the Move It mod and try and shift it around a bit there we go but it's not so busy so i'm not too worried about that can i still make this look like a circle yeah if you squint that's fine right let me check the rest of the roundabouts and i'll be back with you okay just going around the junctions and just notice something a little odd up here i think you maybe have had an issue with the roads uh this should be three lane all the way down no it shouldn't why is this three lane You've sort of upgraded this because of what's going on. That should be one lane coming off of there. Whoops, let's do that again. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong now. Uh, that should be one lane. I'm wondering whether you've done that to try and use the, the silent version of a road or something. But yeah, you need to stick, to stick to the road sizes that you've got. There we go. And that'll work much better. And then, of course, we can do the lane maths on this one like this, like this. And then we can set up the merging... There we go. Oh, let's click it. Let's click it correctly. There we go. You go there. You go there. You go there. And then we've got the merging on the other side. You go there. You go there. And you go there. 
Oh, you go there. Right, I'll carry on fixing the roundabouts. Did I actually do that? Yeah. And then we've got this merging down here, which is super duper all over the place. We're going to let you merge to two and you merge to one. And then you can carry on down to there and good luck when you get to that roundabout. Okay, just found this roundabout here. It had a lot of industry right up inside the roundabout. I also don't have... Oh, look, you got it all around the roundabout here. Don't have industry round your roundabout. And don't have industry within a few blocks of the roundabout either. Because any trucks that want to stop there... Officer is probably okay, but I'm going to just take that one out. There we go. You want to keep your roundabout free and clear and moving. And also one as busy as this. There is no reason to have this go down to two lanes. Um, have it as three lanes. If you still want your walking paths there, use this three lane road. Uh, there we go. I use network extensions two. So if we just have this coming along here. There we go. That should connect up. Yes. I use network extensions two for all sorts of extra roads. So check that out. There we go. And that should flow much better when this guy here's worked out where he's going. There we go. Look at that. Clearing up the traffic almost instantaneously. Nice. Uh, this here that I've just noticed, you have a roundabout that is just not needed at all. Nothing else is connected to it. You're just making people uh, go round for the sake of going round. And as much as I do enjoy a good roundabout... Uh, that really is just not needed. So you've got, uh, let's just stretch that out to here. You've got these. Yeah, that's fine. And then what you want to do is then use your lane tool to say, you go there. We don't want this one going around the corner like the arrows is showing that it's going to. You just want everybody to carry straight on through, straight on through. You go there, you go there, you go there. And we'll do the, you go straight through, straight through. There we go. Excellent. That just You just don't need that roundabout. They can just carry straight on and that will be fine. Oh man, this roundabout up here. First of all, the shape. Uh, let's just... Can I just get that? Yeah, actually make it round. Second of all, no, 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 and definitely no. Get rid of all of that right by the road. And thirdly, uh, let's just downgrade these to this road here. We don't too many lanes. There we go. Excellent. And then we can just set that roundabout up as it should be set up and check that. That's fine. That's not fine. That is fine. And that is fine. That will work. Look at that. It's almost clearing up already. Brilliant. Yeah, most of your roundabouts don't have the the uh, enter block junction set up correctly. And quite a few don't have the giveaway signs. You've also got these little rows that just pop in at random places. That is, yeah, really don't want to do that. If you've got a road nearby that isn't too busy, you can, by all means, connect to there. There we go. That's not too bad. And because this road isn't really busy, we'll just put a giveaway sign there. They can come down to the roundabout if they wish, but you're not going to have, yeah, all sorts of problems on the roundabout. And no, no, and no. Sorry, whoever that was. Best of best shops, you got. Oh, one more thing I just noticed on here. Parking. You don't want parking on this roundabout either. There we go. Keep that nice and clear. Okay, so I've gone through all the roundabouts up here uh, on this side. I've done all the roundabouts down here. You've got a couple of other junctions which can be uh, lane math, mass, math. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> what was that word I made up? <laughs> lane math, math sized. Yeah, there we go. That was it. And just join that in a different place. That's probably still far too close to there. But it's not that busy, so whatever. Uh, we're going to do three lanes, one, minus one down to two. There we go. And I'll set up all the merging. Oh, actually, to be honest, this is not that busy. I would normally just set up all the merging, but I'm not going to bother. Um, so, yeah, that's all been done. What are we up to? 46%. Nice. And then we just need to come over and do this section and this section. And I noticed this. Lovely, huge, big roundabout. I don't know what you're going to put in there, but really like the look of that. So... Yeah, very good, very good. We can already see the difference that our little changes are making. And then we're going to take a look at the metro. This can be lane math massized as well. So three lanes, one goes off down to two. Oh, we've got tons of little tiny roads in there. There we go. And again, don't forget, that's going to help. See that arrow straight on and right? Now it's just a dedicated turning lane, which is exactly what you want. 
And then we will put our Hugo's in. Come on, Hugo. He's had a bit of a break, Hugo. He's been a bit stressed. He's been uh, self-isolating, stuck at home, getting a bit bored. Hard to come out and do your job creatively when, you know, there's so much going on. And, uh, yeah, but Hugo, he's back out the box. And let's just set this roundabout up. There we go. Yeah, see, another roundabout that wasn't set up. And then check your junctions for... Yeah, don't you come out. No, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, that one there. That one will be fine. That one there. There we go. And that will be good. So, yeah, let me work my way along here and in this section. And then I think we're going to be done. But, yeah, then we can look at things like the Metro and see what is going on there. Oh, this is ripe. This is one... I'm going to have a quick sip of tea. One out of tea. I'll be back. Ah, new cup of tea. Mmm. So this one here, we can see there is an interesting thing going on. So this would be three lanes, one off down to two. But then this one here is going to split off again. So you could tackle this in two ways. We could, let's just put that back to three again. You could have that one as two because that then splits off and has dedicated lanes. And then you can upgrade this one to four. That would need to be five, wouldn't it? I've just realized, do we have a five lane? Yes, we do. There we go. So now we've got two dedicated turning lanes going up there. And then that stays as three. And then when that comes down here, we're going to need our five again. Let's do that. So you could do that. You might sort of think that's a little bit of overkill. But, I mean, this isn't that busy. So I might not bother doing this all the way around. And then you can do then you can do this. Then you can do this. You can do Hugo there. Hugo there. There we go. And then they can just merge there. Maybe to go from five to three is a bit too much. So we'll add a four, five, four, and then three. That should be okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go around and just do that on all of the junctions here and also as this splits off under here you've got one lane and one lane but then these two hit to e hit each other so you can have two lanes there and then it nicely splits off again so that is a nice easy change and that wants to be that one under there and also that one under there yeah there we go so that'll work out well i'm not going to bother with the merging rules on all of that i think that is pretty much okay as it is but you get the idea anyway so that's good carrying on with the roundabouts well i've just noticed as i'm going around doing this that what is going on here two lanes in two lanes out and they're merging down into one lane that wasn't what i'd noticed but i have just noticed that uh let's upgrade that to two lanes each direction give these guys a fighting chance uh, i've just noticed the city has started to grow which is absolutely fantastic um which hasn't done for ages we're now heading back up again to Whatever it was when you gave in the city. Did I say 80,000? It's been a while. 80,000, something like that, which is really good. So, yeah, there's been loads of roundabouts. Ah, oh, autosave. I can tell you I'll have a quick sip of my tea. Mm. Loads of roundabouts that have been like six lane roads and stuff. So I've been changing them. Um, and almost every roundabout has got like three or four things that need to be fixed on it. So this has taken me a long, long while. But I don't mind. It's been a while since I've sat down and actually managed to get a city to work <laughs> that needs fixing. So because of all the, you know, the mod changes and the things with Sunset Harbor, not everybody's been updating their mods to the latest list. And it's just been making it really hard to be, to feel like I want to be creative and sit down and sort out all the problems. And I've already done the giveaway signs on that one. And just to get a city working sometimes takes so much time. So I've just been thinking, blow it. I'm going to sit down and do uh, T-Ville instead because that is just plug and go. Plug it in and go and it works. I'm going to take out all your lanes that you've got here. So yeah, that's why you haven't seen a fix for a while. One, because I just wanted to dive in and do a load of Sunset Harbour stuff because it was new and I've been really enjoying it. And also the other thing was it's just been so difficult to get cities working. It sort of fried my brain a bit, I'll be honest. So we're going to do that there. And that I'm just going to ignore and leave it. Good. I think that is all the roundabouts now. That one we would have done earlier. So all I need to do now is go around the highways and just make sure that all of the lane mathematification... Oh, look, another word has been done. Oh, 68%. It is going up. Let us take a quick look at your metros. And we want to try and get these things connected up. So over here, 
Let's just whoa. Let's just close that down. Yeah, so we've got a couple of lines here. Got clockwise and anti-clockwise, which is good. A loop there. You've got a clockwise, anti-clockwise loop there. Oh, here you've got it. Uh, where's that one go? So that one goes up there, which is turned off. I don't know why that's turned off. Let's pop that back on. And then that's connected to down here, which is near enough. Let's have a look. That stops there. Oh, yeah, you've got a stop there, which is... Can, are they, can they walk? They can get from there over the top. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Not as bad as I thought, actually, because that's what you want. You want your stops as near to each other as possible so they can come out of this stop here and they can walk over the road to get to that one or they can cross over the path to get to this one which takes them down here and you've got that there which is another big loop which has got only one way going round so i'm going to add one going the other direction as well there we go to help them get around and also we've got this here i want to put another stop in there so they can literally walk from here to here there we go so i've moved uh, a couple of stops into there as well so that's not too far away people are coming out of there they can walk up that road and get into there which is really really good um so really actually all we need to do is we had that one connected up there there's no connection coming across here um, this is all nice and close yet. Yeah. Oh, yes, there is. There's this blue one here. Yeah, ignore me. So that's fine. So all we really need is a connection from this to up here and to down here. So let me just drop those in. Also, something worth looking out for. If you've got any stations that are like really close together uh, like this. What is going on there? Let's have that above ground, please, if you don't mind. There we go. So what you can also do if you've got any stations that are really close together like this is just put some walking paths in so they could come out there and walk straight across and get to that one and that's a good way of connecting some up as well okay there we go so i've added another little station there with a line that comes up to the top and over here where the two lines are close to each other we've got the little crossover point and then i've also got a line coming from that same station down to here with these two stations back to back i know you can get some double stations but i'm just using what we've got here in the game and then i'm just gonna put this there we go from there to there so they can walk out of one and get into the other so be interesting to see how much these lines are used 72 percent traffic so what i'm going to do now is let the game run for a while we're going to see how to put some new lines in and delete some other ones that's why there's zero passengers we're going to come back and see how many people are using these we're going to see how good the traffic gets after maybe i'm going to leave the game running for about 10 minutes and then i will come back and share it with you Well, there we go. We're sort of dancing around the 80% mark, which is fantastic. Let's just see whether your metro lines are getting lots of users now, which is good. A couple of lines that have got zero on. I'll let you check those out for yourself. Oh, that's a ship ship line. <laughs> 
Oh, I see, going down to the ship. I thought it was a ship running through the metro. Of course, that wouldn't be the case, would it? But overall, things are looking really, really good. I'm very pleased with that. So if you would like me to fix your city, check out the link in the description below. Don't just post it in a comment. Don't send it to me on Twitter. Don't email it to me. They just get deleted straight away. Follow the link in the description below. And please make sure that your city has been already upgraded to the new traffic manager so it saves all of your settings but thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and i will see you all very soon for the next one take care bye bye